morning. Um, I am learning that how I hold this thing matters. Uh, evidently on my last video, I put my hand somewhere over here and it blocks the things I'm saying. So I said my, my little thing about my chickens and, and nobody laughed because nobody heard it. It's okay, it probably was a dumb joke anyways. Um, it is April 20th and uh, pretty mellow day out. Uh, it doesn't really look like a breeze. Um, it looked like it was going to rain earlier, but I guess maybe that's not going to happen. Um, today's uh, little little word is from Psalm 118, verse 24. It says this, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably have heard that before, or read it before, or whatever, and um, don't really connect the dots. Like, who who cares? Like, Okay, all right, moving on. Like, that has nothing to say to me. But there's a lot of things like that in the Bible where if you just stop and listen to what's actually being said, it does actually mean something. You know, sometimes we forget the specialness of today. You know, God made this day. I mean, actually, just stop and, stop and listen to that. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Sometimes we get caught up with all the bad things or all the all the bad news and all that stuff, and we forget to just notice, hey, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the day that the Lord has made. And that just, there's some kind of a, an encouragement that I find in that, that God made this day, the, the intimacy involved with that, that God's not just sitting off somewhere. You know, he actually made this day. Um, another thing is that this verse show, says to me, it says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. That tells me that happiness is a choice. And it's a choice that I have to make. Um, you, you know, you won't always feel happy, but you can always choose to rejoice and be glad. Um, there's a guy that I know um, that uh, this year his wife died from cancer. It was very sudden. Um, I mean, they found out she started taking treatments and then with, within a period of a few months, it was over. She was gone. And uh, very, very quick, very uh, hard to, to process. But one thing that he always says is happiness is a choice. Choose happy. Now, obviously, he doesn't feel happy like we think. You know, he still he still struggles in the day-to-day. -day. He, he's not happy that his wife passed. I'm not saying that, and he's not saying that. But beyond all the bad stuff that's happening, he's he's made the conscious choice to, you know, accept w w what's happening. Yeah, but but more so than that, to choose to be happy in that moment. And... Um, it really learned a lot of, um, I really learned something there from him. It, but then sometimes we say something like this. Now, it's a little bit harder to know what day we're on now that this is going on. <laughs> but typically we say something like this, oh, it's Monday. And, you know, kind of like we set up for the day to be a failure. And it, it kind of becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. See, it's Monday, so Mondays are bad, therefore Mon today will be bad. And then so any time that anything happens on Monday, it's because it's Monday, because Monday's a bad day. So I think that this verse kind of reminds us against that. This is the day that the Lord has made. Even if it's a Monday, you know, this is still the day that God has made. And um, <laughs> that to me, that's kind of a reminder and an encouragement of the nearness of God. That, that, he, would, that he would be personally involved with each day that we go through. And no matter, you know, what kind of situation you're in, that this is still the day that God has made for us. Um, you, some of you may be going through anxiety or depression or suicidal thoughts, you know, oh, the world would be better off without me. But remember in, in, in those things that you're struggling with that, that God still made this day for you and he gave it to you. Uh, remember to be thankful even for the smallest of things. Sometimes we don't really take time to just pay attention to the, to the small things, the, the like waking up. <laughs> oh, well, this is going bad, and this is going bad, and this is going bad. Yeah, but you're still alive. You still have something to be thankful for. And uh, I think that in and of itself is, is worth holding on to, especially in times like this where we wake up and there's always more bad news and more people trying to scare us about stuff, and maybe they're right, and I don't know, whatever. But there's, it seems like there's always more to process, always more to deal with, and there's never a break in all that. And I think that this verse is a nice little reminder of, of God's mercy and grace in the chaos of life. <clears throat> this is also kind of a reminder to me, this verse here, Psalm 118, 24, that 
they will get through the bad times. They will pass. They will pass. But even in those dark times, that God still made the day and gave it to us to live in. And then the last thing that I wanted to mention about this verse, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This is a reference to the seven days of creation. If you read in Genesis chapter 1, it says about how God made the, made the different things in the different days or whatever, right? But in, in day 7, day 7 never ended. And this is kind of the point that we still live in, in day 7 now. And what's the point of that? Well, because in day seven is where God's rest is. And what that means is this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the seventh day that we're still in. Today, you still have the choice to accept salvation. And today, you still have the choice to enter into God's rest. Now, if you're waiting for the news to give you rest, if you're waiting for politicians to bring you rest, if you're waiting for family or friends to give you rest, you're going to be waiting a very long time. But God promises rest in the middle of this. In the middle of this, we're still in day seven. You can still find rest. This is something that's talked about in Hebrews, if you want to read that book. So I think that really, in all things considered, just remember that God did make the day. We have something to be thankful for, and uh, let that be enough. So I hope you guys have a great, uh, a great day. And tomorrow, I believe, is Pastor Randy's day for devotion. So I hope you guys um, are having, having a good time and enjoying these. And uh, I will catch you later.